versions of Tricolor Bully. Unlike most bullies, which only have one or two solid colors in their coat, the Tricolor Bully has three. Tan and white are two of the colors that will be present, but the base color can change. Describe the Tricolor Bully. This is a reference to the distinctive color scheme that can be seen on American bullies. This is a rare genetic variation from the Agouti series gene locus that affects the bully breed. The tan point gene is the particular gene required to produce tricolor bullies, and since it is recessive, both parents must have the gene. A DNA test is the most accurate way to determine a bully's tricolor status and the various shades that it can have. Bully of tricolor. These dogs are typical bullies aside from the genetics governing color. They exhibit the same excellent temperament that one would anticipate in a bulldog. In addition to being attractive, they also make wonderful pets for families. Bullying of people of color is uncommon. Without a focused breeding program, there would essentially be no tricolor bullies due to the need to combine two recessive genes. Although there are breeders who specifically select for these characteristics, they are still rare and expensive. Thankfully, there are combinations within tricolor that are rarer than others. For example, blue and champagne, lilac, are more uncommon than black or fawn, which are more common colorings because the main color is created by the regular shades available to a bully. Since there were once questions about whether they were crossbreeds, the tricolor trend is relatively new. This reduced their appeal, which resulted in less selective breeding. But in recent years, this viewpoint has evolved, and there are now numerous growing breeding programs intended to increase the number of tricolored bullies. Tricolor bullies, are they pit bulls? Champagne XL Tricolor Bully. The American Kennel Club, AKC, lists four different breeds as officially falling under the category of pit bulls. U.S. Pit Bull Terrier. United States Staffordshire Terrier. English Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Bully in America. While all of the aforementioned breeds share a common ancestor, there are differences between them that make it difficult to understand them if we simply call them pit bulls. Pit bull is the most frequent name used to refer to the American Pit Bull Terrier. The other three breeds, on the other hand, each have distinctive references of their own. These are Staffy for Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Amstaff for American Staffordshire Terrier, and Bully for American Bully. According to the information provided above, a bully is a pit bull, but referring to one as such will give most people the wrong impression of what they are. American Staffordshire Terrier and American Pit Bull Terrier are the two main ancestors of the American Bully. However, there are also bloodlines from Mastiffs and other Bulldog breeds mixed in. A tricolor bully can have what colors? There are several different tri combinations, and we will go over each one in more detail below. One of the more typical tricolors is the black tri bully. Bully breeds frequently exhibit the black coloring, so it only takes the addition of the more uncommon tan gene to produce it. Choco tri bully, the recessive chocolate coloring, also known as liver, is a diluted form of the black gene. Because of this, the tri bully is less widespread than the black. A dilution gene, which can affect coat colors like black and liver, produces blue tri bullies. The blue, silver gray coat is produced by this dilution gene when a black coat is also present. This gene is uncommon in tri bullies due to its rarity. Lilac tri bully, this works similarly to the blue tri bully, but it weakens the gene from a chocolate slash liver bully. This is a very distinctive combination because it includes two uncommon effects in addition to the tricolor. Brindle Tribully, Trindle, this uncommon pairing combines the brindle stripe pattern with tan elements from the tricolor. Another uncommon combination, the piebald Tribully exhibits differently from all other tri variants. There will be spots with two distinct colors rather than a tuxedo style pattern. Another uncommon pattern that can appear in any color scheme is the ghost tribuli. Here, the tricolor's tan points lose some of their color. This is because the normally dominant black allele is absent. Describe the tri merle bully. Merle bullies have a very distinctive pattern on their fur where different colored and mottled patches are present. 
This effectively adds a third color where there would normally be two because it can be found on bullies of any color. The trimural bully isn't regarded as a genuine tricolor. The AKC does not recognize Merle because of its association with a number of health problems. Responsible breeders avoid breeding for this to exist due to these additional health concerns. How much is a tricolored bully puppy? The price you should anticipate paying for a tricolor puppy varies depending on a number of variables. These include the colors that make up the tri pattern as well as size, build, and bloodline. The amounts you might anticipate paying to a reputable breeder are shown in the table below as a general guide. Tricolor bullies, how big are they? There are four standard sizes for bullies, plus a few that aren't. The tricolors described in this article can be seen in all of the different sizes. The American Bully Kennel Club, ABKC, has established four standard sizes, which are different types of bullies' heights and weights. These are the additional categories of bullies you might run into. As the name implies, the XXL American Bully is a bigger version of the standard American Bully. Any bully that is taller than 23 inches falls under this category. Due to additional health issues, this is currently unrecognized. Increased weight brought on by the size places a great deal of additional pressure on joints and organs, which can lower quality of life. Micro slash exotic bully, these terms describe bullies that are more diminutive than the pocket bully. These are also produced through crossbreeding, typically with the padded eel terrier. Due to their insufficiently sized bodies, micro bullies have additional health issues. A shorter lifespan and more health problems are frequently the results of this. Extreme bully, this describes them as being more muscular than big. Although it usually refers to micro slash pocket, any of the different sizes can be built as extreme. As the name implies, it has an extremely muscular appearance with larger than average head, shoulders, and neck.